Anime Adventures. I'm Elise Bowman, the voice of Pan from Dragon Ball GT, and I'm with Morgan Berry. Hi, I'm Morgan Berry. I am the voice of 13 in My Hero Academia, among many other characters. And this is the show where I bring you interviews from recording studios and from conventions, and that's where we are right now. Yep, we're at Acon. Yes, <laughs> having so much fun. So stay tuned for my interview with Morgan. She's done so many cool characters. Tell us about some of your characters. Well, my first lead role was in Riddle Story of Devil, and I voiced for Tokaku in that show. That was a lot of fun. Um, let's see. One of my favorite titles is My Hero Academia, where I voiced for 13. And they're the space hero, and their superpower is super cool. It's a really good show. Yeah. Yeah. So many people love that show. I know they're going to love seeing you on here. And I was a fan of the show before I got cast in it. So that was really cool. Were you really? Mm -hmm. How yeah. was that to be a fan first and then you got cast in the show? It was emotional. Oh, it was, was an it? emotional experience. I was like, oh my gosh, this is happening, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. I love to hear that from people, though, when they're fans first and then they yeah. get cast. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool cool moment. It's great what we get to do because I love acting and I love anime. Yeah. And to be able to combine the two is it's a huge blessing, you know? That's a huge blessing. I know when your worlds come cool. together. Yeah. Yeah, your worlds collide. Right. It's yeah. really cool. I feel the same. And, and <laughs> it's just nice to be doing what you love. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And then you've got, gosh, you've got so many cool characters right here. You've got a new show yes. that's coming oh, up. Oh, this one's exciting. Uh, Cells at Work. I voice for NK Cell. And I'm really proud of our work in that series, and I'm, I can't wait for it to come out on DVD. Oh, when does it come out? Or do you know? You may not know yet. I don't know yet. yet. Yes. Not okay. yet. So but I'll stay probably, tuned. Yeah, I'll probably post about it on my Twitter, at the Morgan Berry. So okay. stay tuned. Yeah, and we'll post her social media. And the other thing I want to talk about, because we were visiting earlier, and your YouTube channel is really cool. Tell us what you do on your you. YouTube channel. Well, I do song covers. Uh -huh. So I basically, I take music from anime shows, some of my favorites, and I adapt the lyrics from Japanese to English, and then I sing it in English. And it's a lot of fun. Like, I usually choose my favorite music from my favorite shows, and then I post it up on my YouTube. That's so cool. What's your YouTube channel? It's um, an unknown songbird. So if you just type in the unknown songbird, it should come up on, on YouTube. And do you have a sample of something? Like, do you, do you sing on cue? Or no, or do you want to not do that? Mm. No, you yeah. have to go. No, this will be our teaser. So to hear her sing, you have to go to the YouTube channel. How about that? Yeah, I like yes, that. Yes, <laughs> I like the teasers. <laughs> yes, it gets them to go. Yes, go to her YouTube channel. Yeah. So what else do you enjoy besides anime? What is something they may not know about you? Hmm. I know, I put you on the spot, right? Well, I mean, I, I watch a lot of anime. That's Do you. That's my main. Th that's thing. actually a question that everybody seems to ask, and I'm sure you've yeah. gotten asked that on panels yeah. too. Is People do want to know, do you watch anime? Yeah, so what do I do? do yeah, I do. Yeah. And I don't do much outside of that, actually. I, okay. I, I really do just love anime. I mean, I do watch a few live action shows here and there, but yeah. mostly anime. So what are some of the shows that you're watching right now? Ooh, well, let's see. Because I know you if you watch all the time, you've watched a ton. But That's there's true. always some I that do you're have some recommendations. On. Oh, okay, give us recommendations. Okay, yes. so... I, I'm gonna list my top three. Okay. The, the, oh gosh. Oh, this is good. There's a lot, but I'm. Mm. Oh, okay, I'm this gonna. This is tough. Okay, get yeah, out I'm your gonna stick to three. Head. Okay. Okay, so Code Geass, uh -huh. number one. Ooh, number okay. two, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Ooh, it's so okay. good. Yeah, yeah. Number three, Attack on Titan. I love it. There's more, but I'm gonna just list my favorites. Well, that'll keep it simple. Okay, so there, there's your homework. Yes. I think it's the first time on Anime Adventures we've given homework. Yeah. Be homework. Now keep in mind they're they're pretty dark series, so. Okay. So yeah, yeah keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, depending on the age range. Yeah, those that you shows are. are probably not for children. Okay. They're a little more. So if yeah, it's age appropriate. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, very cool. I love that you're into anime. So it it really must be amazing then to be working in this field. Yeah. Um, it's a huge blessing because I've been acting for about 15 years uh -huh. and I just stumbled into voiceover. I, I won a contest at a convention. What? And yeah, um, Todd Habercorn was hosting yeah, a yeah. voiceover competition at 
his con called Habercon. Yeah, it was, it's great, right? Yeah, it sounds so great. Yeah, and that was back in at the end. That was like in November 2000. Wow, did y'all hear that? Yeah, that was we're great. at the con. Somebody just got really excited about something, or they're really excited to hear you talk. I yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. They're like anime adventures. <laughs> yes, but yeah, it was but back so in November 2013. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back there. Either. Someone's putting on a show. Wow. It was back in 2013. Uh -huh. Yeah, like November. That's when I won the contest, and the prize for winning that contest was an audition at Funimation. And so I won really? the competition, and then through that I got my first audition. And then from then on out, they kept calling me back. And so that was cool. So cool. It worked I out. I love that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, how interesting. <laughs> what a cool little career you had yeah. because of that. It's it's a huge blessing. Yes. yes. And man, I had another great question and they've gotten me all distracted. What question was I going to ask you? <laughs> this will be an edit. Man, I had something I was going to ask based on what you said. Do, 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 do. That I, happens to me all the time though. My, the train in my brain just goes off the rails. I know, it was something. But the more I think about it, the more I forget it. So I'm that's just like, what, That's the problem. Speaking of cons, you've been coming to conventions. Is there anything, any interaction that you've had with a fan or some story that you've heard from a fan that just really caught you off guard? Like you were surprised to hear or they had a story that they shared where your work made a difference? Oh, there's there's a lot. In all honesty, I can't even, I can't, I don't want to just pinpoint one because there mm -hmm. are many moments like that that I hold close to my heart and I, it's hard to choose just one, yeah. you know? There's a lot of moments where fans will come up to my table and they'll be like, Morgan, I came here just to see you. And I'm like, what, really? Wow. Like, you sure you didn't come here to see anyone else? Like, really, just me? You know, and to, to know that I have that impa impact on someone, and like, you know, they tell me their story and how these shows that I'm in really impacted them in a positive way. And I get a lot of those stories, and it really, you know, blesses my heart to hear yes. that, you know? That's really cool. Because, yeah, I've had those experiences, and it really is neat to hear people's stories that yeah. you just wouldn't expect. Yeah. Well, this has been so great visiting, and here's what's so cool. She has agreed to autograph a poster. Uh -huh. I don't know if we even decided which one, mm -hmm. but we're going to pick a random one and pick a random winner. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, and you'll yes. win an autograph poster. Hi, So thank you so much for thank visiting you. us. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, and we'll see you later.